I ended up stopping by my old house today, uh, back when me and my ex-girlfriend were had a nice house together. And I was looking for my kettlebells because I realized that I need to start exercising again because I'm just, you know, we're all stuck at home. We're all just getting, we're all just wasting away getting fat, right? I mean, what can we say? But I was, I was a little disappointed that she did not come downstairs to essentially greet me. I know that sounds kind of stupid, honestly, but because I have, we have a, like an automatic like garage door opener where I know the code still to get inside the garage. And I felt like it would be a little, I'll use the word rude if I didn't just, if I opened the garage, got my stuff and just basically left without saying a word, right? So I kind of want to be, I want to kind of be nice and just kind of say hi, hoping that they would come, at least come down and say hello to me too. So turns out that uh, my, I guess you'd call it my ex-mother-in-law, uh, would that be, would that be right? My ex-mother-in-law came down to just greet me and just say hi and just, you know, get whatever you need and basically just went back upstairs. I'm like, that sucks. Like no one came, no one came to say hi. And honestly, I was a little disappointed in that, considering that I haven't seen her in like six months, seven months. I mean, we briefly talked, if anything, throughout our interactions online, but it's always transactional. It's kind of like, hey, uh, do you have my snowboard boots? Do you have my snowboard gear? Can you drop it off my house later? Something like that, right? So those are the type of conversations we pretty much have. It's just like, hey, I need this, hey, I need that. So I, don't, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was just kind of hoping that she would just come down to, to greet me and say hi, you know? Considering that I knew she was home, her car was there, and the fact that everyone's working from home, you're not going anywhere, so you should be home. And it just got me thinking about the, the type of person that she is, or was, is, still is. It's like everything always has to be a, a transaction, right? Like if I'm gonna say, if I'm gonna come downstairs to say hi to you, it's like, how am I gonna benefit from that? And I mean, I'm just gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and say maybe perhaps she's busy at a work meeting or something, but I was just hoping to at least just say hi to her, you know? Yeah, it was just something I kind of want to share and just saying that, you know, I guess I shouldn't really feel disappointed because, you know, we're no longer a part of each other's lives, so that's fine. Totally fine, but you know, trying to be respectful, trying to have, you know, take the higher road, just get a chance to say hi, that's it, and see how they're doing, because, you know, they were a big part of my life for the last 10 years, big part of my life, and yeah. Anyways, I'm about to prepare lunch, I'm gonna be making just some sandwiches, because I need to real, I realize that I need, I need to start minimizing the amount of calories I'm eating, because I'm just, with the, with the amount of exercise I'm getting, it just, it's not enough. I'm getting more in than I am getting out, so. Yeah, hope you're doing well and yeah, I'll see you next time.